Are you tired of receiving a document and worrying about how you're going to print that document with your current printer? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an automation that will automatically check that attachment or that file and sort all the pages and put all the similar pages together. So that way you can easily print the document as needed. And I'm going to show you how to build this automation right now. All right, so let's take a bird's eye view of this entire automation. So the first thing that we need is a trigger and a trigger in this particular case is an email. So the email will come into this automation with an attachment. Then we're gonna use OpenAI to actually look at the attachment and um, split it. And then we are going to then send the individual split document into separate emails. Okay, and then once we do that, then we're gonna clean up and delete all of the attachments that we received in, in this automation, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to build this right now, step by step, so don't worry about it. Um, if you are lazy like me and you don't want to build it step-by-step, step, then what you can do is you can hop over to my community where I'll have this entire template there. And all you have to do is hit the, this more button, hit import, and then you'll get this entire automation. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to build this step-by-step step right now, all right? All right, so the first piece we need is we need to set up a trigger, all right? The trigger that we need is a mail hook. So let's um, open up the mail hook. So if we go to webhook, webhook, and then we're gonna select a custom mail hook. So we're gonna add a new, add a new um, mail hook and we will just call it a uh, PDF sorter demo, right? Mail hook. So we need this mail hook so that way we, we receive the attachment in our email and we can forward that attachment to this to this email address that we, we're gonna be giving shortly, which is right here. And once we, once we send that attachment to this email, it'll then pull that attachment to this automation, okay? So let's, let's test it right now. We'll hit okay, we'll copy, we copy that. Uh, make sure we copy that, copy the address, put a clipboard, hit okay. And that's running automation. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a sample. I'm going to send a sample uh, attachment to this webhook right now. Give me a second. There we go. All right. Cool. So I just sent, I just sent one over. So shortly you'll see um, a message that came through, right? So this is the attachment that came through. And if we look at the uh, attachments, you'll see it should be a sample, sample that PDF. And it's a PDF. All right, it's a PDF uh, attachment. So this is a sample uh, document that I have. It's about 120 or so pages with a mixture of letter and legal pages, and just for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, okay? So after we build a webhook, what we need to do is we need to go to OpenAI and we need to upload the, the actual file to OpenAI. So we click on OpenAI, and the first time you click on any of these modules, and if this, if this is your first time using Make, uh, the module is gonna prompt you to credentials. So you're gonna have to create your credentials and get your API key through OpenAI. Uh, we'll get to get to that in this video, but um, if you go how to do it, um, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, um, that's all here. So what we need to do is we need to uh, upload a file. So let's say upload a file. So we select that here, and what we're gonna do is we wanna map the file. The file name is going to be, if we go to attachments, let's close this, open up attachments. The file name is gonna be this file name here, and the data is going to be the data here, okay? Um, so this is the actual data of the file. And what we're using in this case is we're using assistance. All right, so let me explain assistance real quick. So assistance is, Basically, minions. If you look at them as minions, a little, a little mini robots that OpenAI uses to, um, you know, store code. Let's put this to say it that way. So it's basically you give these assistants or these minions a group of a set of instructions that they use, and anytime you call that assistant, it'll use those specific instructions. Okay. So we have the option to, for every time you build a module, to give it a set of instructions, or we can store those instructions in our OpenAI account. So I'm gonna actually show you that right now. Um, but before I do that, let's just rename this module just so we can keep everything in order. We we'll say upload. Um, to open AI and emoji is let's give it a, uh, upload. Okay, cool. Cool. Hit okay. Let's hit save and let's jump over to open AI so I can show you what I'm talking about. So if we go to, um, platform.openai.com, once you go here, you can click on assistance and this is where you have all your assistants, all your minions, right? And so in this particular case, we have a, a P I created a PDF sorter, um, assistant. And to create a new assistant, you just I'm um, going up right hand corner here, hit create, and then you'll be able to have all these options. But I'll show you what I, what I did. I created a PDF sorter and um, the system instructions. We can read it together. I basically said your role is to analyze PDF documents to determine the size of each page. You will receive an open AI file ID. Uh, I'll pause right here. So the open AI file ID, every time a file is uploaded to open AI, they associate an ID with that specific file. Okay. So, and they call it a, a file ID. So I'll, I'll give it the file ID so that way open AI knows what file I'm referring to. Okay. So I said, um, again, to continue, you will receive an open AI file ID. The instructions are to extract all the letter size pages and combine them into new PDF, into a new PDF file called letter PDF. Then you will extract the legal size pages and combine them into a new PDF called legal PDF. Um, please be mindful of the page order. Okay. Because in an ordinary business page order matters. Okay. And ultimately we're doing this exercise, but ultimately you're going to need to have a, a dual tray printer that can handle, um, 
that can handle multi-size multi pages. But if you're a new notary and you have a printer at home already, and you don't want to spend $400 on a new printer initially, then you can use this. You can build this automation and use it so that way it'll automatically sort out the pages for you. And this is also the tool in the event that you're on the road. So you're at a signing, then you get another signing for that same day and you need to jump to Staples or whatever. You can just then take that attachment that you receive from the um, from your client or the, the signing service, and then you can just forward it to the email address. Um, which you, you, you should which you should save like in your your contacts and your email client and then what it'll do is it'll automatically email you back the different pdf so it'll email you a letter pdf attachment and it'll e email you a second um a second pdf that has the legal size pages so it's pretty cool all right all right cool so that's the that's the that's the instructions and then the model we're going to use is gpt 4.0 um and then what we're going to do is we're going to toggle on these two tools one is file search and the second is code interpreter okay so we need to um do this so that way one that when we search for the files that we gave the assistant permission to do so and the code the code interpreter is going to be used to um analyze the file and, and sort it out okay this these these two pieces are very powerful um as i mentioned earlier you can give these uh, minions uh, specific instructions so you can attach files so if you have um like brochures and things like that that you want the um open ai to be aware about or the assistant to be aware about you can add them here and if you're a coder you can add different coding you can add different all your code like your, your javascript your, your python code whatever your code you can add it to this so that way when you call upon the assistant it already has like background as to what needs to be done okay so it's basically like a worker <laughs> i mean all right all right so let's jump back over to the um automation oops wrong one close this one out jump over to the automation hit save and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it again so that way um we can pull specific fields for this uh upload file okay so let's just for this one second give me a second um let me just copy this sorry i'll be doing this a few times as we go along because you have to pull different fields from the different modules so that way you can you can know how to match everything together. Um, so let's, let's pull it here. All right, hit send. Shortly you'll see it come through and upload to OpenAI. All right, boom, so it's right here. So now the sample PDF is uploaded to the assistant uh, for assistant purposes. If we jump back to the assistants and then we go to storage and we hit here, here's the sample PDF that we just uploaded, okay? So that's right here, cool. So now the next step that what we need to do is we need to then um, flip the PDF, okay? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to again open open AI and with a message and assistant. So we click on message and assistant. <clears throat> once we do that, once it loads, come on, load, load, load. All right, the system we're going to use is the PDF sorter. Okay, and it's going to be user. And the message is simply going to be let's just uh, collapse everything. The message is simply going to be the file ID. Okay, and we also want to turn that on. Um, let's see, we want to go to the tool. Actually, let's put on the advanced options of the tools. We want to turn internal code interpreter. We want it to be able to um, interpret the code. And then what we want to do for the resource, it pulled in a sample PDF, but this is going to change over time. So we don't want to do that. What we're going to do here is we're going to then associate it with the file ID for the code interpreter. And I think that is all we need. So we we'll confirm. Yep. Oh, sorry. The response format should be also text. We can choose auto, but let me say if we can do text. Okay. And that's it. So again, the assistant is the PDF sorter. The message is just going to be the file ID. Again, the file ID is, is what's associated with the file we just uploaded. Okay, we're gonna use code interpreter so that way we can um, um, sort the PDF. And the code interpreter again is using the default ID. All right, hit OK. Cool. So right click. Let's rename this to PDF order. Okay, cool. And the emoji, let's just do like a file cabinet. Cool. PDFs. Cool. All right, actually, instead of a file cabinet, let's just change that. Keep it consistent the way I already have. Um, name. This is actually the brain, it's the brain of it all. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know thinking, so give it a break. Awesome. Let's hit save. Let's run this and let's test it out. Okay. Give me a second. It's got to send an email. We'll copy this. Let's forward this email. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Give me a second. Paste. Send it out. Perfect. All right. So I just send it in a few seconds. It will start to it'll begin to um, load. So the first step again, the email comes in with the attachment, and then we are going to. Um, upload it to OpenAI, and now we're sorting the PDF. One step I forgot here that we could add is we want to make sure that the file or the email that comes in has an attachment, or else it's going to fail right here, and then we don't want the automation to fail. But we'll add that in a second, but let's just go back to the storage to make sure that the files that we just uploaded came through. Okay, let's refresh the page. All right, boom. So it's another sample PDF because remember, I'm doing multiple forwards, so it's going to keep um, having a sample um, PDF. So let me just delete this. Oops, I'll have the trash can. We'll delete the old one. Let's keep everything clean, and then these are the new two. These are the, these are the two the letter and the legal PDF, as mentioned before. Cool. All right, so let's go back here. So one thing I need to add here is we need to add a filter and then we're going to set the filter so that way it uh, checks for an attachment. All right, attachment and the condition, let's just collapse everything. The condition is going to be, actually not problem. The attachment, and we also want to make sure that it's a PDF. So we're going to say the attachment name uh, contains 
what is it contains we search for the text right so that it contains case insensitive so that way it's like a sensitive case pdf so we want to make sure that the attachment that comes that, that comes through is, a, is an actual pdf file and if it's not then it's going to fail this filter and it's not going to it's not going to go through okay so all right cool all right we can even test it out real quick uh, i'll run it once and what i'll do is i'll just send an email to that file give me a second actually let's do it this way sorry email my email client is a little slow today so bear with me All right, send an email. Perfect. Go here, and I'm gonna hit send. You know, this is send email. So it's a blank email that's gonna come through, and it's just stop right here because it doesn't have an attachment. There it goes. So if you hit this, if you hit this uh, filter icon, you can see where it has a, a X right here or stop because the, it doesn't have this attachment. But once we have an attachment, it'll allow it to go through. If we didn't put this filter here, what will happen is that whenever uh, attachment comes through, say that, that the attachment is like, say, even if it's an attachment, if it's in a zip file, for example, we don't want to analyze zip files or anything like that. So, so we want to specifically analyze PDFs. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, the next piece that we need to do is we need to get a list of um, all of the files that are listed in the storage. Okay. And in order to do that, we have to do what's called an API call. Okay. All right. API. So I'm, oh, sorry. The system that I'm using right now is called make.com. If you don't know make.com, make is a free automation tool that allows you to allows different software components to talk to each other. So we allow, we allow to have open AI, open AI, talk to your email client, talk to Claude, talk to a plethora of different products um, and allows everyone to talk together. So that's the platform I'm using this make. And it's a free, I'll include a link in the show notes. So everything I'm speaking about today, but um, for make specifically, I'll include a link in the show notes. So that way you can um, sign up for a free account. Okay, cool. So what I'm using, what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna use what's called an um, uh, API call. So API call is basically the back end coding um, the back end coding to um, open AI's automation and every most most of every product um, that's out has an, a, uh, an API um, call or API um, integration. Everything that's on Make definitely has an API integration because that's how they communicate. But Make made it easier by creating these specific um, modules so that we already has the pre built coding in here. But sometimes but they, they didn't think of any of every scenario that you'll be using it for. So like for in this particular case, for us to get a list of the different things that's in our um, assistance uh, storage, so they leave it open so that way you can have direct you can use the, the api um, language to that and to, to get a background on, on the api once you go back into um, platform.openai.com you can go to api reference so we'll open a new tab and it'll give you a list of the different things you can use so you can do with the api in this particular case we are using the assistant and we are um um yeah so under the assistance and actually we are doing files sorry files so in the files we're using this here so um it gives you a list of how to list the files how to get the files retrieve the files how to delete the files and we'll be using all of this today but this is for your reference so you have okay i'll post this out let's get back to work all right so the url you need is this your oops no nope, wrong one give me a second i'll pull it for you all right so we need v files here v files all right and then we need to get and that's it <laughs> this will give us a list of files so um, slash v1 slash files will give you the um actual files that we need so this is renaming this we didn't get files and this is what i'm gonna do my file cabinet because we are getting files okay cool all right okay let's hit save let's run this and i'm going to again forward that attachment so let's bear with me again as i open up this slow email client <laughs> all right cool the copy forward let's paste it send cool all right so shortly it'll come through the pdf file it checked let me make sure it's a pdf and it'll check this time so now it uploaded the file to OpenAI, and then right now what it, OpenAI is sorting the PDF into page and I'm sorry, the legal and letter size pages. And then um, once that's done, then we are going to get the files. So if we click here, it'll show you all the files here. If we go to um, the output, then we go to body and the data, it'll show you it has six files in here, okay? Uh, because we did a few uploads. So if we go here, there's three right now, it should show six when, when I refresh the page, just to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So. Um, I won't delete it, but we'll just leave it like that roll for now. Cool. All right. So now we have we got a list of files. And the reason we need to do this is because we need to be able to reference the the um the IDs of each file. So we need to get a list of all the files so that way we can know which file to, to get. All right. So what we need to do next is we need to um bundle everything together. And we use a, a, what's called an array aggregator. Um an array aggregator allows you to to bundle uh the different um files structure here into an array. Okay, so let's do that right here. So let's hit array and we're gonna use an array aggregator, and the source is going to be um get files and what we're going to do is we're going to click on body and in advance what we do is we want to actually group them by um on the data in the body okay so we're going to group by this data right here cool is it okay all right perfect so um we could run this but it'll give it'll give us an error because it doesn't like to end um an automation with a transformer it shouldn't be the last module because it's more of a calculation field but i'm gonna 
run it anyway. Okay, so let's run it. So it was error again. We'll hit run anyway. And let's do this. Let's forward this again. Bear with me. Sorry. Copy. Forward. E. Send. All right. All right. All right. So it's shortly. It's going to receive the email. Upload to OpenAI. Just sort the PDF. And then we have the array aggregator. Okay. We probably could have skipped this step, but just for best practices, we should um, allow this to, to, to go through. So just so that we have all the options when we get to the next module. Cool. So we go here and what it did next is it has all the different collections as an array and sorted it into the collections. Whereas here, it looks similar, but it's an, it's an array with the collections. It's, it's, it's similar, but the array aggregator allows it to flow a little bit smoother. All right. So the next piece we need is we need to do an iterator. All right. So this is actually just rename this best practice. We're going to say merge, merge bundles to array. Okay. Cool. Next thing we need to do is we need to have an iterator. Iterator. Okay. And the array that we need is we need this array here, the body and the data. This is all we need right here again. All right. Cool. And we get to sort of call this uh, process. Let's say rename uh, process um, HPDF. And we'll give it a file cabinet here. All right, cool. Let's hit save. And again, we have better run once. So give you an error because we ended with a compilation. And um, now let's just do this one more time. Send an attachment. Okay, cool. Send. Perfect. So the email should come through shortly. There you go. Let's sort the PDF. Um, get the files. Cool. So this is a pretty cool automation um, that allows you to, again, take if you're on, if you're on the road, you receive you receive a file, and you just want to sort it by different page sizes. You can go ahead and, and um, just forward it to this email address, and it'll automatically sort everything up for you. So uh, we're almost there. All right. So cool. So now what it did next is it put everything into bundles, which is awesome. And we have twelve bundles. So it's twelve. It's twelve files. So we may go in there and clean up before, so that way our um, automation runs a little bit more smoother. But that's cool. So the next thing we need to do is. Just in my testing, I've noticed that um, if you throw so, if you throw too much at it at one time, this automation at one time, it was, it was giving me errors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little what's called a like a timer. So so I, I call it a nap. So we got to give it like a, a five second nap, or we can even give it a three second nap, three second nap, and then we'll just rename it to three second three second nap. Okay, cool. So what it will do is um, it'll pause the automation for three seconds while it catches up with itself. Okay, so let's do this here. Um, give a little emoji. A little slit emoji here. Cool. Catching some Z's, baby. All right. Next. Um, we'll skip the next one. And what we do is we need to add what's called a router because we're going to send three different emails. Well, two different emails, right? One letter email, one legal email with the attachment. And then the third piece we need to do is we need to do some cleanup afterwards. Okay. So that this way our storage doesn't get clogged with things. Okay. So, all right. Let's go to flow control and oh, not repeater, not repeater. We need to do a router. Go here and go to flow control and router. Cool. So uh, the first piece we need to do is we need to uh, retrieve the letter. Okay. So we are going to go here and say open AI. We need to make an API call. So let's do this actually. Where is it? Sorry. All right. Do we have the API call here? So let's just, we're going to clone this and go here. And what is to do this instead? Delete this file. Cool. So instead of get file, what we want to do is we want to, um, give me a second. Sorry. All right. So we're going to retrieve the letter. Okay. Let's retrieve the letter. Retrieve letter PDF. Okay, cool. So emoji, we'll just give it, um, actually, let's give it a file. Come on. Okay. Right, retrieve letter PDF. Cool. Good. All right. Perfect. Um, all we need to do is we need to do this. It's a little different. So it's going to be files and then it's going to be the file ID, which is right here. Right. And then what we need to do also is we need to say content. So you find all of these uh, URLs listed in that um, API documentation. So you can get, you can pull that as a reference, right? We have okay. And let's do this. Let's delete this. And one thing we need to do also is we need to set up a filter, right? So the filter is um, letter PDF, right? Letter PDF. And the condition is that this file name is contains letter in it, right? So we want to say um, contains case insensitive letter, right? So let's us know that the attachment has the word letter in it. Okay, cool. 
uh let's uh let's run this okay uh we'll hit save and we're gonna run once and let's do this we are going to forward uh copy and forward okay okay, okay. good 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 hit send all right so cool this should come through this should come through shortly there we go so again open the eye then we have a, a pdf sorter and then we are going to get the files we're going to merge everything together we're going to process it, all the pdfs and then we are going to take a three second nap and then we are going to retrieve the letter so i'll let this run once and then i'll uh, i'll stop it here so i'm going to stop it right here so that way we don't have to wait through all the iterations but because what we really need is we just really want to get these fields here okay so if we go to uh, body you can see the data so this is the actual data of the pdf of the letter pdf file okay all right cool next thing we want to do is we want to email the letter to the ourselves right because we are sending to ourselves so the email client that i use is um outlook but if you have gmail or yahoo or anything like that or any email client that you use you can attach it here okay but i'm using um outlook 365 so we go to outlook 365 what we're going to do is we're going to create a send a message and the subject is uh your split pdf is attached and we're going to say letter pages all right oops letter pages and the body content i'm just going to save time i'm just going to copy what i had here and then we could just make changes here so the body of the content and the body is html okay so in html format you can do that here so i want to say hi and let's just say close this close this close all sorry we go to our original web book and we can find the name of the person it's the name hi name uh the file attached contains the letter pages from the original pdf and then we just put the original pdf name which is no sorry uh sorry attachments and the pdf name is right there cool okay and the recipients you want to add the name email address where is here and then the name is right here and hit okay cool all right so let's rename this and we're gonna say uh email better pdf great and again do this boom awesome let's hit save and to save <laughs> on time we are going to delete the letter right so let's just do this let's uh clone and go here rename and we're gonna say delete oops come on come on come on come on let's say delete letter pdf and this time you have a different emoji you wanted the axe all right because we're deleting that file cool then we go in here uh what we need to do is just confirm the api all right so it says files which is here we can remove content oops oh, man. Let's see all right let's go here collapse all and press each file and it's the file id right and what we need to do here is we just select delete and it'll delete the file and hit okay cool 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 all right so let's hit save and we'll run this once and then the rest should be a breeze okay so let's hit copy we're gonna forward this um this is uh hit run for right cool uh cool hit send and let's go from here cool all right so we're gonna go through this once and then the rest should be a breeze okay so again it's uh, uploaded it uploaded the file to open ai um it's sorting it's sorting that op that uploaded file i'm um, opening is sorting the uploaded file into different page sizes and then it's processing everything okay it processes into the bundle it took a three it's taking a three second nap and um i should i should receive an email shortly if you heard the ding that's the ding for the pdf and i'll bring it over to you so you can, that way you can see it all right so here it is right here all right cool oh my bad i forgot to, i forgot to add the attachment all right let's stop here i forgot to add the attachment all right so here we go so we forgot the attachment so the attachment here is going to be um um because i was wondering i said i got the email but i'm gonna i'm gonna need attachments right <laughs> what we gotta do here is we gotta go to file we have to map the file the file name is going to be letter pdf pdf and the data is going to be right here uh from the last module all right cool so i'll show you that next time i'll show you that on the next uh go around but for now what we want to do is we want to then copy all of this so we can do it for um the legal pages all right so we hold the shift button and copy and then highlight right click copy or um okay yeah copy and paste cool and then we'll just attach this here let's clean it up a little bit cool so the first thing we need to do is set the filter the filter is instead of letter it's going to be legal right and then the, the we to make sure the file name contains legal okay and then we need to go here and we need to change the legal uh the legal pages um the g legal pages go ahead the file names and we change the legal pdf and that's the data from 13 great and whenever you hover over something it's going to show you where it's pulling the data from you see how it's uh like pulsing 
So that's another indication that we're on the right track. And if we go over these, our original trigger, the web clock in the beginning is pulsating. Pulse so that is where the data is coming from, which is cool. And it's also numbered too. So each each module has, has numbers, so you can refer to those numbers as well. Cool. All right. Hit OK. And we're going to rename this to delete legal pages. Legal pages on uh, PDF. Hit OK. All right, cool. And to save on time, I'm just going to do the last piece. We are going to clone this and then we are going to uh, actually delete the original file that we uploaded just to keep our storage clean, right? So we just go here, um, rename, um, delete original, original PDF. And we get that file number ID here. Oh, I have to update the ID in the other one. Sorry, I'm skipping steps. So we'll get the original file ID from uh, slash here's fully uploaded file, which is right here, file ID. Tell me the uploaded file, okay? Oh, hit okay. And this one, we have to make sure we have the correct ID. So it's going to be for, oh, it, oh, it was right. It did it right. See, that's why I love make, make this got my back. So this one is six, right? Uh, mm, wait, wait, let me show this right. All right. No, it was right. That's right. It's pulling it from there. Cool. That's correct. Because the original file is going to be the one that you process from number six. That is going to pull in that. Then it goes through the router and checks to see what type of file it is. And it'll delete the original file. So cool let's clean everything up we're gonna hit save and then we're gonna run this once so it's gonna run a few times because we have a bunch of files in our storage but that's cool that's what we want anyway right so let's look on here and we're gonna see that we have a bunch of files in here because of all the forwarding so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it's gonna create it's gonna actually oh it's even ten eleven it's even more than that so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's fourteen files and it's gonna be seventeen files because we are gonna do one more okay and we'll we'll we'll, we'll match that to the automation all right so let's hit run once and let's run this puppy right so let's go to here Let's go to set uh, set items. Wait a second. Sorry about that. Cool. And if you made it this far in the video, man, cheers to you. I mean, you are a automation guru. Your automation dawn. <laughs> cool. And I appreciate your attention. All right. So let's go here. Let's hit send. All right. So then it's gonna come through. All right. So this is our last iteration, and then I'll show you all the files afterwards. Okay. Cool. So while that's running, let me show you the original file, the sample file. Um. And then we can compare it to the other files. Okay. All right. Oh, wait a second. All right, here it is. All right, so this is the original file. Uh, let's look. Let's get the pages. Organize pages, so we can see all the pages. So, so we can look through like page one through thirty-eight. Looks like it's all legal. And then it's, everything is blank. It's already redacted everything, so it makes it a little tough to see. But page thirty-nine looks like thirty-nine through fifty. Sorry, thirty-nine through forty-seven looks like a letter. And then it, it, it goes all the way and it fluctuates throughout the document. So it's one hundred and two pages. Okay. So cool. Um, let's close this out and let's go back to the automation. Uh oh, what happened here? Something failed. <gasps> Something failed. What's happening? Let's see. Uh, no such file. Hmm. No such file. Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. this is what I messed up, guys. So what we need to do here is I forgot to set up the filter. So the filter again, um, we need to uh, check for original. Original PDF. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Um, um. All right. So we need to make sure that our original file um, actually, let's confirm this in a second. I lost some train of thought here. Cool. All right, so we need to make sure that this file here that comes in, this file name, is equal to our original file. If that's the case, then we want to delete it. Okay. Cool. So let's go back to the original file name. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Attachments. File name. Cool. So it's going to compare the file that we have, the current file, to this file name, and if it's equal to, or we could say, um, we want to say equal to. Right. We want to make sure it's the exact same file. If it's the exact same file, then what will happen is it'll delete the file. Okay. So let's try it one more time. Sorry, guys. Um, let's do it one more time. There we go. So let's copy and let's forward this to here. And actually, we should have been running without doing it because it failed. Or not. All right. Let's try it. All right. So I'm going to send it now. There we go. Cool. We can't have no fail automations around here. Everything got to work. All right. So there we go. Let's work this time. I didn't set up a filter, man. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so we, we should be good to go, guys. Cool. Run the automation. It goes through, and it should process everything good. Cool. That's the first one. Boom. Now I'm going to receive that first one was illegal. Illegal. Which it should be, because remember, we said that the first, like, 30 pages or so was legal pages. So let's show you the legal pages. Open it up here. And let's open this up. Oh, we can just preview it. Well, no, it's not what I'm starting to show you for real, for real. All right, so these are legal pages. So if we go to, um, and it's total 77 legal pages, and let's go to the letter, up letter, 
Um, let's open this up. All right, these are letter pages, 25 letter pages. So 77, 77 to 25, what's the math on that? It should be 100 and something, right? So 77 plus 25, all right, 102. So our original, our original document was 102 pages. So you see it, 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 it took everything correctly. So that is that, man. I think that we are all set with this automation. It's gonna continue to run because, you know, we have a few versions I'm going on here, but um, yeah, so. Hopefully this video was useful to you. I'm not sure. Let's see it failed. It failed again. Let's see what happened here. No such file. That is interesting. I'll look into it, but um, let's see. The file name, it passed through and said no such file. Maybe it's deleting it before it checks it. Something's going on, but you get the gist of what it's supposed to do. Um, but if you uh, like this video, <laughs> be sure to hit the smash button below and subscribe. Hit the like button and make sure you share it. Um, but I'll see you in the next video and enjoy.